You kept wishing a word. Um, pays, allo pays, um, pays. Yes. What's that? Pay means country. Oh, pay means country. Yes, please. Pay you do Nigeria. <laughs> pay you ala Ghana. De Ghana. Pay you de Ghana. Oui. Oui. Le pays Ghana. Le pays Ghana. Oui. Le pays Libya. <laughs> Le oui. pays Le Belgium. <laughs> Belgique. Belgium. Belgique. Belgique. Oui. <laughs> Je t'aime. <laughs> hey, plus, why have they not arrested you? <clears throat> um, good evening to your viewers. I, I think that I, I don't do anything uh, that is against the law. You try not to. I, I try my best not mm. to, not to. So uh, you are very angry with somebody and you want to go after the person, you know. I've been, uh, I've had. Um, I've had uh, one case where I was arrested and granted uh, self organizers bail for saying that somebody, I don't remember what I said. Hmm. And, uh, and they said it was uh, something, something conduct. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Offensive conduct. Offensive conduct. And so the police put me uh, to court and I also took the police to court for doing what? I took, they took me to a district court and I took them to a high court uh, for what? I took them to a human rights court because okay. I think that they were infringing on my right to free speech okay. I believe in, in strong institutions and I, I, I don't have a problem if police will have to invite me for something that I have said or Whatever. Once the institution wants you and they are doing their job, I don't have a problem with it. However, my little studies in, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, administrative law tells me the kind of remedies that I also have as a, as a citizen. And so I will allow the police to do their job. But, but I, will also said, do, said, I will also do mine. When you said, contract with Beba, Ukujeto Nipa Befa. You were alleging wrongdoing, corruption against the minister. Okujeto. Mm -hmm. Peri Okujeto is Okujeto. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, my you were own talking friend. about Ministry of Education. Right? Did you say Ministry of Education? No. If you have that song, get it ready, please. I, I, I ask for it. Yes. You see, um, it is very difficult to... You said contract with Beba. Okujeto ni Babefa. Babefa. There, yes, <laughs> it is very. You see, when the she has a song, when the she has a song, wait, let's listen to your Abenbebo. Let's listen, it, to yes, you. yes, put a plus Abenbebo on. Someone, someone, can't say for me, call me a plus. Omae musika uwea school dain beba ukuje to nipa befa oban sika wan ni wea oh the amain sika they wea it every day and uh, i am not the only person who is saying that aban sika has been stolen if you want to arrest, arrest all those, all those who say aban sika into the first person you have to arrest is the audit, auditor general because for so many years at the end of every year auditor general is there tells us and i do okay you so, do okay, yes right, yeah. Uh, so when you said Okujeto Nipa Befa, you are not referring to Honorable Okujeto Ablakwa at that time, the Deputy Minister for Education. 
No, I was. Uh, school dying by bar. Uh, yeah. Contrast, but could you tell me Yes. Um, uh, I was. I was talking about one Okujeto. Um, for the purpose of this, of for the purpose of this interview, mm -hmm. for the purpose of this interview and uh, the the agenda that you have set right now, mm -hmm. it is one Okujeto. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to why you are here. Uh, people were some were surprised, some were impressed to hear your uh, you on UTV last Saturday night. Uh, on your take on taxes and the e-levy and all of that. It's very, very interesting on IMF and all that. Let's, let's talk about it. Uh, is it that, should we conclude that you support the e-levy? I, I, I will ask, I will want to say this very brief. It is very difficult to deal with Ghanaians in general. I've, I've had so many people happy about my submission mm -hmm. on the e-levy. Mm -hmm. And these are the same people who don't agree that it does not make sense for anybody to tell us that they spent $35 million on COVID-19 conferences. So you see, I don't ever get out to attack just anybody. But when the facts are there, let's deal with the facts. So that when I'm talking about E-Levy and I'm supporting E-Levy based on what I think about the whole tax system and everything. The same people who don't want us to talk about spending 35 million and spending $9 million on feeding that chingalinga chicken that they put on some rice. The, 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 the lockdown feeding? Yeah, exactly. You saw the chicken? It was. That, Ch that chicken never went to the gym. That chicken no was found. <laughs> yeah. yes, but, People, people, people put all of this together. So immediately you are happy about what I'm saying about E-Levy. You also have to have some patience to listen to the other side because now we are looking for money to, to, to support the economy and we don't want that money to be thrown away. We have to, we have to if, if, if it were our money and we are investing it in any business, we will have to, act, whoever we are giving it to will have to account for the money. So your, your support is conditional? Yes, yes. That you, you expect and you hope that the money that will be received from the e-levy by the government will be applied to the purpose, it, which is infrastructure and, and, development, and roads and all that. And it shouldn't only be even with e-levy. Um, the NDC did very well with the tax regime, mm -hmm. uh, reforming the whole tax system, mm -hmm. putting the whole, all, of, all of it together under one umbrella, and, uh, and, and I think that was a very good thing that they did. In fact, apart from doing that, the NDC also did very well in raising revenue from, uh, I think NDC raised it from 4.2 billion to 29 billion. That was between 2008 and 2016. Mm. Yeah, maybe it was oil animated, but it's okay. Apart from that, mm. apart from that, they went back to IMF. You see, you mean after doing all that, they, they still went. had to go back to IMF? Yes. In 2015, they had to go back to IMF looking for, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, 918 million to, to support the economy. Where is the money? They have done very well, but where What's is... What's the point you're making? The point I'm making is that I'm not, I'm not supporting that the e-levy must be passed so that, uh, so that I'm saying that we don't have to go to IMF. We need to you raise... You think we shouldn't go to IMF? Yes, you yes. agree with the philosophy we that do not let's have to look go within to, ourselves yes. and raise the money? Yes. We have to raise our, our money internally. Mm -hmm. We have to generate our own money so we can make our own uh, decisions. decisions. The, I don't believe that we should get up every day after 65 years of independence, roam from country to country, from World Bank to IMF, begging for money. There have been so many countries where people have sold their properties to, to, to support their countries after the Second World War and all. Yes, yes. So we have to generate our own money here. It is very, very important. So you are against this. I, mean, I'm, I spoke about it. I was quite disappointed. I am against IMF. And the leading IMF. political figure said, go to IMF. And that, that was very disappointing. Every, most, most, of the, most of the statements that people make are motivated by so many things. So your point is, we don't have to go we to We don't IMF. have to go to Let's IMF. raise it internally. We have to raise it internally. may be the way. But, and your but is a big but. Yes, but there should be, there should be a way to, to monitor 
the money. President Kufour said something. Ghana Incorporated. Ghana is a huge a, a company. It's a business. E-Levy is a way of, it's a form of investing in that business. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to put, you, you are going to make an investment in that business, why do you go to sleep? The people who are, who, who, who are taking the money must account for it. In fact, uh, uh, if, we don't, if, we don't, if we don't support E-Levy, if we don't support E-Levy, what if the government increases tax uh, VAT like it has done already? Mm -hmm. And you see, the money, the reason why, you, we are talking about oil and all, the mm -hmm. reason why the NDC was able to raise our taxes from 4.2 to 29 is because there were so many taxes that were introduced. Based on the oil production. Based on, uh, apart and from other that, things, yes. Apart from that, some of the taxes, the VAT uh, flat rate was, was abolished. There were, there were new taxes in the system, and so the, 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 and, and there was efficiency in collection. What is left for our country to be able to use the money for the intended purpose? But with E-Levy, because yes. we already know it's digitalized, so we should, it will be easy for the government to tell us yes. that month on month, this is how much money has because we know how much more Absolute. money has received. Absolutely. In fact, the telcos can tell us how much more money transactions has gone on. Absolute. If we do the multiplication, yes. we'll be able to get a round figure. And it is very easy for the of, government to also tell us how they chop it. What does that mean? We can make all the money. I support. I, there should be. We, all of us must support our country to develop. If I have to send more, more and government, I will pay something to government, yeah, that's okay. and it's going to be used to build roads, and that's okay. But I'm saying that the government can tell you how they spent a certain amount of money, and to it do is something to do something. That sounds like that, it's that not sounds, true. That, exactly, and it's not everybody in the government. There are too many good people in every government, in every government. You go in the MPP, there are very, there are noble people in there, there are people who are passionate about the development of the country, and these are the people who must call the other guys out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of us want to develop this country. Yes. So, so you cannot sit down and watch people and be quiet. A typical example, we are finished spending 24 billion on banking sector reforms. reforms. Yeah. The audit, the special prosecutor, he's my friend, I have a lot of respect for him. But the special prosecutor is chasing one guy, at a, one MC mm -hmm. candidate, or, who said he bribed people mm -hmm. with some amount of money. And this, is, and, and this is what is important to the special prosecutor. However, the Bank of Ghana has a duty to monitor, to regulate banks. How did we sit down for this whole mess to happen? And we are chasing the, those who caused the mess. But the regulator is sitting down and is declaring profit. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. We, the, the people at Bank of Ghana must be held accountable. How did we lose oh, how did all they of, supervise that? Supervise that. All okay, of okay, that okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But they are, they are not on trial, isn't it? No. Nobody. Nothing like that. The, the supervisors. That is one. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Auditor General's report, if you look at the Auditor General's report, uh, mm -hmm. it tells us that, now, Paul, mm -hmm. this is very, very interesting. The Auditor General's report states that OMCs owe this country uh, about 200 and uh, something million, million dollars, uh, mm -hmm. Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. OMCs owe this country. OMCs? Oil marketing companies owe this country mm -hmm. more than 200 million. 28 OMCs owe government 226 million dollars. Oil marketing companies. How much money did IMF give us, John Mohammed's time? One hundred and something. 100, the first tranche. Yes, one hundred and something. something million. Yes, but this is money that is here. money that is did sitting here, here in this country. Two hundred and two hundred and twenty-six point nine four million Ghana cities. OMCs owe that. OMCs, Ghana cities, by the according way. According to according to the Auditor General mm -hmm. report. Now, what is the special prosecutor doing? These guys are criminals. Oh, they are not criminals yet. Uh, no, no, they are. That they owe? No, no, no. Did he discover it from no, some no, no, investigation? No, 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 they are. Let me explain why they are. Mm -hmm. Before you can go to, 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 and they are not, they are not the only criminals. They are in, it is a huge criminal organization that involves people from Ghana Revenue Authority. Because before you mm -hmm. can, before mm -hmm. you can lift any, any petroleum product as mm -hmm. an OMC, 
you are going to have an insurance mm -hmm. and you are coming with an insurance bond. Mm -hmm. Somebody then, must inspect somebody it. Must, somebody must inspect it and it must come with a collateral so that you are telling Ghana Revenue Authority that you are going to lift a certain amount of fuel. If you don't pay the taxes, this is what the, the GRA can fall on, the insurance company can fall on. And these guys set up all of these insurance companies deliberately just to take the, to, 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 to take the tax component on it and spend it. According to the same report, the four OMCs did not pay taxes on 59 million 713 liters of fuel so looking at how much taxes are on each uh, each liter of fuel these omcs these four omcs owe government 5.4 million ghana cities all this all that i've i've spoken about is money that that this country has everybody is aware of this the special prosecutor must be aware of this this is you see Dom Lovo, mm -hmm. Auditor General, this is what he was doing. He was taking the money from the people. So bring the money. Yes, collect. Bring it. So he, this he OMC, has power to say charge. Yes, yes, yes. He has power to say charge. This, these OMCs does not belong to Akufuado. It does not belong to Akufuado. And Akufuado can't do everything in this country. So I am writing to GRA under the Right to Information Bill. Okay, to supply the information, information on how did on they how come to... To owe oh, 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 government this amount of you money. Should, you should. Yes. And we'll follow that story. And, and present it to the, to the uh, uh, office of the special, special prosecutor. And you myself. can do that as well. It's yes. part of the prosecutor. Yes. People can go in. To get him to go, to go after these guys. For the 200 yeah. million. Because. Which is more than what he's trying to look. Because, you see, all of these guys, you go and take fuel, go and sell it, take your profit, and chop government taxes and build big houses at East Ligon and say, my Bob Brack, Kwame Plaza, or more Brack. I understand the, the point you are making. So yes. you are saying that whatever they, they got, yes. they've sold it. Because they you don't go it. to the petrol station no, and no, take no, no, credit. No. Everybody pays. Everybody pays. But that's the only place in Ghana that you can't you, do you credit. You can't do credit. They, you pay. Yes. You don't pay, they move so your you car So you go away. and take it, you take it to your filling so station. So you take that thing, sell it, sell it and make pay your government back. Just pay government taxes and back. And they keep it. They chop it. And GRA people And are GRA is sitting down. They know. Look. There is one guy. No, don't mention his yes, name. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, I can mention his name. He's a criminal. Just call him Kwame. He's not called Kwame. He's called Japan. <laughs> he's not called Kwame. He's a criminal. We, we don't know that he's a criminal. We, we cannot say I will that not say where he worked. But we his name dissociate is a, ourselves from he, that, yeah, yeah, that, he, that but comment. His, but his name is a Japan. And he, actually, he, and he hears me mention his name. It's is he a GRA? No, he, 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 you see, these guys in the insurance companies. Oh, insurance, okay. Yes. Guarantee for the, for the OMC to pick the, the fuel mm -hmm. and go and sell. So you are telling government that I'm giving the fuel, give the fuel to this guy. If he doesn't pay, I will fall, pay. I'll pay. Mm -hmm. So they, are, they, are, they provide the insurance bond mm -hmm. and they connive with these guys. By the time you go to the insurance company, there are some forged documents and stuff that does not allow the company to, the, the uh, GRA, to go after the company sure because, okay, it okay. Is, because it to, is... To ask for the money, to, to drop down, the as they say. Because the document itself is forged. And these guys must be in jail by now. I support, I support, everybody must support this country to develop. We are looking for money to develop. We don't want to go to IMF before they will come and tell us that. Stop if employing. You don't, stop employing. People bought the, um, Ghana Immigration Service. People bought forms to go to immigration. People bought forms hundred to cities, go hundred cities to go to police. If you go to More IMF and they say dollars. they say don't don't employ all Anymore. of these guys are going to stay home. So if you are, if you don't want to pay e levy and you and I IMF will say that they'll say and don't IMF will say do not they'll say don't do this road exactly. I wonder why any Ghanaian politician knowing this would think that go to IMF instead of no, e levy. I, and apart from that. I don't believe that after 65 years of independence and everything that we have in this country, we must continue going to borrow and beg every year to support our... When the American is paying his taxes, 99 billion is going through our, our system, yes. E-Levy, yes. uh, 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 mobile our, money, yes. 99 billion, $44 million at Christmas time for those who make hair. Yeah. And we don't want to contribute to that. And no, we I want think, to. No, the people, people want to. the people of the Ghana is want that, to. Yeah, the suspicion is that. The people of the, everybody. I think the suspicion is how is the money going to be used? Everybody wants to support this country. Yeah, I heard somebody say something very interesting. He said that maybe the government should begin to publish 
the roads that e levy will be used for, mm -hmm. like they did with the HIPIC benefit. Mm -hmm. Month on month, government can announce, as part of the Bank of Ghana announcing its uh, lending rates, which they do policy rates, mm -hmm. they can introduce a press conference. Mm -hmm. Month on month, close of the month, today is 28th March 2020, uh, e levy uh, uh, revenue credit is 7 billion Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And the money has been put in a fund. The Ministry of Roads are dealing with it. Bank of Ghana should be able to make that argument. You see, you see what, what is happening in this country, if the people don't support, if the people don't... Jesus Christ can be president of this country and we will still be here and talk. Jesus? Yes, Jesus. He's a miracle worker. Because the, the reason is that if we don't hold our people accountable, we will face this problem every day. And you see, we are better than Nigerians mm -hmm. in terms of talking and holding our, our leaders accountable. If Nigeria, Nigerians had, had done this, they would have had electricity by now. Oh, they have electricity these days. Yes, yes, yes. But it is, but it is, it is not, it, 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 is, it is nothing to write home about. Mm -hmm. And if Ghana, you see, when we, when we entered into this whole doom sort thing, Yvonne Nelson was on the street with the oh, people. Oh, but Nigeria did NSAS. You can't, you can't talk NSAS. about Nigeria without mentioning yes, NSAS. Yes, they are learning. Maybe they took the leave from us on yes, doom Of sort. course. Yeah, maybe they did, yeah. You see, we will not sit down for la electricity to, to, to go off for months and everybody is quiet. No. And we don't have to do the same with our taxes. I, so your, your support for e levy is actually a call to duty on the citizens. That let us pay the e-levy, but by all means, let us hold the government to account. Yes, there should be, there should be a way of... An, and you see, those leading the anti-e-levy mm. crusade. crusade should stop that. They should stop that.